this video is about midpoints and distance in the coordinate plane. By the end of this video, you should be able to find a midpoint between two points and find the distance between two points. The important vocabulary is coordinate plane, midpoint, and distance. First, coordinate plane. The coordinate plane is the plane, Heyman, where we graph x and y points. This is a picture of the coordinate plane. And in this section, we are looking at midpoints and distance in the coordinate plane. What is the average of 20 and 40? Well, the average is 20 plus 40 divided by 2, which is 20 plus 40 is 60 divided by 2, and 60 divided by 2 is 30. Now, that is useful because 20 is here, 40 is here, and 30 is exactly in the middle. So the average is helpful when we are finding the midpoint. The midpoint is the point in the middle of two points. Now mid comes from middle. Okay, so the midpoint is the point in the middle. So here is an example. What is the coordinate of the midpoint of a segment with endpoints negative 4 and 9? Well, the midpoint is the average. It is negative 4 plus 9 divided by 2. Negative 4 plus 9 is 5 divided by 2. And 5 divided by 2 is 2.5, or right about here, is the midpoint of A, B. Now here is a formula for the midpoint in one dimension, A plus B over 2. What's more important is the midpoint in two dimensions. And in two dimensions, we find the average of the x-coordinates and the average of the y-coordinates. Okay, This should look like an average. Okay. Here is an example. Find the midpoint between these two points. So I will first label this as x1 and y1, and this as x2 and y2. Now, I could have labeled it the other way, and that would have been fine. Okay, first, x1 plus x2. x1 is here, and x2 is here. So, negative 2 plus 4 over 2. Negative 2 plus 4 is positive 2. Divided by 2 is 1. Now, for the y's, 
it's y1 plus y2. This is y1, this is y2. So, negative 3 plus 0 over 2. Negative 3 plus 0 is negative 3 divided by 2. And negative 3 divided by 2 is negative 1.5. This is the midpoint, which is 1, negative 1 1.5, or right here. Next, distance. Distance is how far away two points are. When finding distance in the coordinate plane, we will use the Pythagorean theorem, which for a right triangle says that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now I will use this formula and solve for c. Okay, I will first write c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared, and I will get rid of this square. Now the opposite of a square is the square root. Okay, so this is a useful formula for us when finding the distance between two points. Here is the distance formula. The formula used to find the distance between two points. We have this distance here and this distance here and we are squaring those distances, adding them together and taking the square root. This should look like this. It comes from the Pythagorean theorem. So please write this formula in your notes. It is very important. Here is an example using the distance formula. First, I will label x1 and y1, and x2 and y2. First, I have x2 minus x1. x2 is here, and x1 is here. x2 is 4, x1 is a negative 2. Plus y2 is here, and y1 is here. Okay, first, negative 4 minus a negative 2 is 6. So negative 4 minus a negative 2 is like 4 plus 2, or 6 squared plus, and 0 minus a negative 3 is like 0 plus 3, or 3 squared. 6 squared is 36, 3 squared is 9, and 36 plus 9 is 45. Now, using my calculator, 45 as a decimal is about 6.71. 
and that is the distance between these two points. This video was about midpoints and distance in the coordinate plane. Thank you for watching.